What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Forever Yaz, and I am back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a flat twist out, which was requested, but plot twist, we are only going to be using one product. So I'm just starting off with freshly washed hair that's just been air dried um because i hadn't been doing nothing but i'm just going to take some water and conditioner which is in the spray bottle spray that throughout my hair so i'm able to detangle it i am detangling with a small tooth comb which i don't recommend but i honestly couldn't find a bigger one but i'm just going through and detangling my hair and then we're going to get right into the twisting <music> Now my hair is fully detangled. Um, I was able to run the comb through my hair without hitting any tangles or snags. I'm just re-moisturizing my hair with a little bit of that water and conditioner, combing through it and again. And then I'm going to actually part my hair at the top and I'm going to comb the front of my hair towards my face and the back away from my face. Um, I don't do flat twist outs often, but when I do, I have noticed that twisting the front part of my hair away from my face gives me more volume, which I need. So basically, like I stated before, this is going to be a one product flat twist out. So the product that I will be using is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Foaming Wrapping Mousse. I'm just going to take about three or four pumps of that in my head, add it to the section, brush it through, and I'm just going to begin to flat twist. And a flat twist is basically just a two-strand twist that is attached to the scalp. last section that's in the back um this is the fourth twist my hair is on the finer side so there are only four so i guess they will be considered chunky twist but now that i am moving to the front of my hair as i previously stated i will be twisting the front section going towards my forehead and this will just give me more volume at the top of my hair <music>
our last two sections, but it really wasn't enough hair for me to do two different twists. And when I started to twist, I started pulling hair from the other section and I was getting frustrated. So basically what I did was I just combined those two as they probably should have been to begin with. And I just made that one single twist. And for those who don't know how to flat twist, I'm basically just slowing this clip down. Um, hopefully you're a visual learner because I probably can't correctly describe how to flat twist. But basically you're just taking one section of hair and wrapping it over another section of hair. But as you're taking the top hair, you're going to be grabbing hair from the bottom simultaneously and making a twist. Um, so if you know how to braid to the scalp and you know how to just do a regular single two strand twist, it's just combining the two. As you go down the length of your hair, you're just adding hair into the section below it. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but I'm sure it's plenty of YouTube videos that would give you a proper way to flat twist your hair. But that's basically all I do. Now we are all done. Um, there is a total of eight twists. Eight or nine. Four in the back and I believe five in the front. So nine twists total. And now I'm just going to take my hooded dryer that I've had for years. Probably since like I started doing my own hair a long, long time ago. Um, I'm just going to sit under that for 30 minutes. I typically only sit under the dryer when I absolutely have to. I hate being hot. I hate being under the dryer. Um, but for the sake of this video and trying to get it done in one filming day, um, I just sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes and just pray that my hair would dry in that time frame because it was killing me to be under there. But if you love the heat, I mean, I know most people can take a nap, but for me, I was in there having hot flashes. <laughs> now that we are back from our visit to hell, um, I'm just spraying a little bit of oil on my hands to try to add some type of shine and a little bit of moisture into my hair because like I said, we only use that one product, which was a wrapping foam, which automatically dries your hair out a little bit. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. My hair was not dry, but I thought it was dry. I'm not going to lie. I really did think it was dry. I kept feeling it and tugging it and touching it. And it basically lied to me because it said it was dry until I began to take the twist down. Um, so since my hair was not completely dry, it did give me a little bit of frizz um, that I did not want. But I wouldn't say the hairstyle or this flat twist style was a complete fail because even though I didn't have the definition that I desired, I still had enough definition to style the hair. At this point, I'm just finishing up separating my hair to my liking. I'm just trying to create some volume. I'm going to actually go in with a pick at the roots and try to give myself some more volume at the top. Um, but at this point, it's just your preference. You can style your hair how you like. You can leave it like this. You can put in a puff. You can do half up, half down. Um, I'm just going in, playing around, trying to figure out what the finished style is going to be. As for the product and the style, like I wouldn't call it a fail. My hair wasn't completely dry, so I think that gave me a little bit more frizz than I actually wanted. But other than that, my hair felt really soft. It was really lightweight. 
Um, I definitely will use this product again, but I will probably add some type of cream or and make sure my hair is fully dry so I can get more definition and it'll probably have a longer hold. But other than that, I'll probably do this with a perm rod set or a flexi rod set. Yeah, that'll probably be dope because my hair feels so lightweight. Like it's bare it's like barely anything on my head. So I love that. But this is basically gonna be the finished look. I just ended up going with the deep side part. But thank you so much for watching the video. Um make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for the journey, y'all.